Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to actually use Jira to track the story points for each issue. I'm going to give you a couple of pointers, a couple of things to watch out for, and hopefully, you now are able to take the concept and theory of story points in Agile and actually implement them using Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And drop a like if you find value and if you have any questions about anything that I cover in this video, please let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. All right, so here we are in Jira. You're gonna wanna go over to your project of choice. I'm going to be in my demonstration project. And the first place that I want you to navigate to is your backlog. Now, please keep in mind that story points go hand in hand with a scrum board type. When you have a scrum board type, you'll notice that your issues over here on the right have this little dash. They have a circle, they have a gray bubble here with a dash in them. That means that each of these issues, these stories in this case, do not have any story points associated to them. If you don't see this little bubble here on the right, that means that your Jira issue doesn't support or your board doesn't support story points. So you're going to want to make sure you're in, an, in a scrum type board. The easiest way to tell if you're in a scrum type board is A, you're going to have a backlog by default and B, it's going to have active sprints here. So if it doesn't say active sprints, maybe you're in a business type project, maybe you're in a team managed project, maybe you're just in a Kanban. And so you're going to want to make sure that you are in the right type of, of, a, of a project. So make sure you are in a scrum one. So I'm going to jump back into my scrum one here and I'm going to be in the backlog. Okay. So once you're in the backlog, you could put the story points whenever you want. So you can put them in the backlog while the issue is still in the backlog or as a best practice, I recommend you plan the issue into your sprint. And then you do whether you're doing poker planning or, or maybe you just have your team at that point, do the estimates there. And in, in all the years that I've been doing Agile, I usually do the story pointing when you're planning the sprint. And the reason I do this is because you don't want to fall into the trick of having like your scrum master or your product owner or somebody that's not the actual person that's going to be working on the issue at the story point. You're, you can't have your developer like receive a story that already comes with the value in it. I fear that if you put the story points in the backlog, it might welcome the behavior of, oh, well, let's just get all these stories like pre-estimated. Maybe the scrum master, the engineering managers, or your product owners are doing this like behind the scenes. And I would say, don't do that. You don't, you don't want to then give a pre-established story to the developer because you got, you want to remember that the story points is the developer's estimate to how long or the complexity of the task from their perspective, not from somebody else's perspective. So in order to kind of minimize that, I recommend that you hold on putting points until you bring the issue into the sprint. Once it's in the sprint, so I'm going to bring a couple of issues here. Once they're in the sprint, then assign the story points. Now this part's a little bit more controversial slash optional, if you will. But I, when I'm in this kind of sprint planning mode, I will assign the issue to somebody. So I'm going to assign it to myself and I then estimate the, the issue. So I'll come down here to story points and give it a, a, a point. Now, because you're in a company managed project, you do have to basically click on the issue, come over to the right, find the story point field, and then add the value. If you're in a team managed project, this process is a little bit more fluid. That's okay. I firmly believe that the company managed project is still a little bit better because you do get the full I'll show you a couple of things that you get that you just won't get in the other one that makes it worth the extra step here of having to open it. And second, if your story point field isn't available to you, you're going to want to go check out my video where I show you how to enable the story point field in your Jira issue. So make sure you go check that out. If your story point, if you can't see the field story points. So anyways, you just want to come in here and add story points to everything. And then we're going to I'm going to show you a couple other things that you want to be looking out for, which maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but I find them very beneficial. Okay. So if the story point doesn't save, uh, it sometimes doesn't save. So sometimes it doesn't show. So just hit refresh. And so a couple of things that I want to show you here 
that are these are going to be just some a couple of tips that I want you to look at that are going to be beneficial. They're going to help you make sure that maybe you're the scrum master, you're planning your sprint, maybe you're the developer, you want to make sure you're appropriately tasked. You're going to want to do a couple of things. One, this estimate here is a summary. It's a summation of all the story points for all the individuals that are in this sprint. And so you want to make sure that this looks good and that this is basically going to be your overall team's capacity, which then should be reflected off your team's velocity from free previous sprints. Right. So that's thing one. Thing two is and this is not a really good example or a really good view from my perspective because I'm a team of one. But when you're in a bigger team, you can actually click on this ellipses over here on the left side and this will show you every person that has an issue assigned to them how many issues are assigned to them and the total number of story points for that individual. This again is really, really helpful managing expectations and capacity because not only do you have a team capacity, but you also have an individual contributor capacity that you want to make sure you're staying in check or balance with. And then the last tip that I want to show you, and this is a fairly newer feature of Jira. And again, something you really only get in these company managed projects is if you swing yourself over to the right side, you're going to see this insights button over here. And so if you click on that, this will actually show you your sprint commitment. And this little feature is basically telling you it was based on your pre like previous ability to complete your sprints. You might be over committing your team, under committing your team, or your team might just be committed just right. So use this as a guide to really help you understand if you're within the bounds of what you should be doing. So you're setting your team up for success. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you found some value here. Make sure the number one golden rule out of all this though, if there's a key takeaway out of this video that I haven't mentioned, but I want you to make sure that you ingrain this into your mind is never, ever, 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 ever start a sprint without making sure that you have all the values in here. If you hit the start sprint and some of these issues don't have points, you're going to have a really messed up burn down chart. It's just going to alter your metrics really, really poorly. And so as a best practice, make sure you always, always make sure you have the story points and if possible, all the assignees already given to people before you hit that start sprint button. Once you're ready for that, once you check those boxes, hit your start sprint and you're ready to run. So anyways, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Please drop a like if you found value of this video. And if you have any questions about anything that I covered, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks and have a great day.